In the East Bay, two Oakland businesses owned by the same family burglarized and ransacked, police say, by the same group of criminals. And it was all caught on camera. Cron 4's Taylor Wasaki joins us now live here in the studio with more. And Taylor, you talked with the owner. Yeah, Pam, Ken, as you can imagine, one of the owners says that he feels incredibly violated and helpless. Take a look at this surveillance video. You'll see it right there. These are the suspects that broke into both of these businesses, and the owner says this happens way too often in Oakland. Surveillance cameras at Woody's Laundromat on Park Boulevard in Oakland captured several thieves pulling up in an SUV, smashing the glass windows, and making their way inside. They broke uh, two uh, glass door to enter. Uh, they kicked down, you know, several door inside, you know, to the office, to the employee room. Um, you know, it did quite a bit of damage. Robert Ma runs Woody's laundromat with his family. He says he was frustrated watching the suspects burglarize the laundromat and their business next door, Woody's Cafe, at the same time. Disgusted, you know, like uh, violated. Uh, this is like the first time, you know, we've been in business for 35 years. And this is the first time they actually broke in, you know, inside to the business. We've been robbed, you know, a couple of times. Ma says the thieves ransacked both businesses and stole cash. He says this double burglary makes it feel like he was targeted, along with other Asian-owned businesses in Oakland. I feel like the Asian community community is under siege. While Ma says Oakland police responded quickly and were at the businesses before he arrived, he says there needs to be more accountability and less lawlessness in the town. I mean, I love Oakland. Don't get me wrong. I love Oakland, but then this is getting way out of hand. People are getting robbed. And then there's a trend of like, uh, you know, robbing people of their watches. I mean, what, what else is that? They're shooting people, executing them, broad daylight. You know, me and my family, we don't feel safe. Now, police haven't made any arrests in this case. And almost two weeks ago, another business right across the street from Woody's, Ivy Hill Cannabis, was also broken into. Reporting live in studio, I'm Taylor Bisaki. Back to you.